At approximately 1.48 a.m. on March the 7th, 2023, I received a call from a mother whose son had been involved in a self-defense shooting that resulted in a death. Her son had been handcuffed, was placed in the back of a police vehicle, and was currently waiting to be questioned by the detectives. I informed the mother to tell her son to invoke his right to remain silent, his right to an attorney, and that I am on my way. This is a video of what transpired next. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Attorney James Phillips with the Firearm Firm channel. I figured I'd give you, everyone who watches my video a little insight on my life outside of filming videos for you, uh, the Firearm Firm channel. It is now uh, 3.44 a.m., 3.45. I think I showed you that correctly. I am on the way to a self-defense shooting about an hour from my house. I know a little bit about the facts. My client's in currently in the back of a cop car. His family's contacted me, let me know what's going on. I'm on the way there. Uh, make sure that he doesn't speak to law enforcement without me present. Uh, I'll keep you updated, but just figured maybe some of you would enjoy seeing what I do outside of uh, filming videos. Uh, so uh, stay tuned and I'll let you know once I get on the scene and keep you updated. On building trust. Trust All right, I'm a arriving on scene. Uh, as you can see, they got tape marked off cop cars. I got a call from my clients. Uh, mother and brother uh, discussing that the cops are trying to talk to him while he's in the back of the cop car. Um, I don't know if maybe they're just asking him if he's okay, if he needs anything, or if they're trying to interrogate him. Uh, I'm about to park, get out, and see if I can make contact. Uh, and I'll keep everyone updated. All right, everybody, just to give you an update, it's uh, 6.05 a.m., I've been on scene ever since. The cops have been somewhat cooperative. I've been able to speak to my client uh, one time, just briefly. Uh, the prosecutor, assistant state attorney, uh, came out to the scene and they're currently talking now. All right, everybody, it's uh, 6.26 a.m. Uh, just following up from my previous video, letting you guys know that uh, I'm headed home. Uh, as I mentioned, I came out client was involved in a self-defense shooting uh, where somebody did pass away unfortunately uh, got out to the scene law enforcement had my client in the car I was able to speak to him law enforcement was actually very cooperative with me I have gone to the scene where cops wouldn't even talk to me acknowledge me or even tell me anything but here all the detectives were very friendly uh, law enforcement was very professional so had a good result with them uh, the best result, though, is at 626, not only am I going home, my client's going home. Now, under Florida law, anyone that's justifying their use of force is immune from prosecution under Florida Statute 776.032. Now, I think that's pretty much why they sent them home. I think they believe it's self-defense. Uh, the Stand Your Ground statute, as pretty much what everyone calls the immunity statute, says that he can't be arrested, detained, until a time when law enforcement determines there's probable cause that he wasn't justified in his actions. Again, I don't think that's going to be the case here, uh, but they are going to continue to conduct their investigation. We did not give a statement. I spoke with the detective, told him that, you know, I would like for them to give my client the courtesy that they would receive if they were involved in an officer shooting and allow him at least 48 hours to get his thoughts together. And they were very nice and, and agreed to that. So I'll be contacting the detective to give a statement. Their surveillance videos, I wasn't able to watch it. The law enforcement hasn't watched it either. Again, it seems a very clear self-defense case. In fact, I think my client was probably a hero and saved a lot of lives tonight. Uh, but just wanna let you know, hey, not only do we make videos, we're out there protecting those who protect themselves and others, uh, fighting for them. So today was a good day. It's time to go home. Uh, if you can't tell, I've been a little under the weather and actually been out sick. Uh, so I'm going home going to bed.